Hi, I'm Bob. Today, let's talk about time series analysis in Stata. We will take a look at the lag operator, forward operator, difference operator, seasonal difference operator, and the combination of them. To download the dataset, in Stata's command window, type web use followed by the file's name. First, use the command tsset to declare the data to be a time series. It tells data that the variable tq represents time and it is a quarterly data set. The lag operator L is commonly used in time series analysis. The new variable lag GDP at time t contains the value of GDP at time t minus 1. To generate a variable containing the value of GDP two periods ago, we use the operator arrow followed by number 2. Now take a look at these lag variables using the command list. We would like to take a look at the first 10 observations. The option abbreviate specifies that the full name to be displayed. The forward operator F does the opposite of lag operator. In Stata, the difference operator D is used to get the first difference, D2 to get the second difference. In Stata, the letter S is used followed by a number representing the seasonal period to invoke the seasonal difference operator. In this example, GDP is a quarterly data and we use S4 to get a seasonal difference of GDP. Two different time series operators can be specified in front of a variable. And time series operators are commutative, meaning that the order in which you specify them makes no difference. The proof is as follows. Thank you for watching this video.